Testing one two. There you go. Hello, Dragon Cap. Nice to see you. So, let's see. Everything's on. It looks like everything works. You know, for the most part. Twitch is telling me about TwitchCon like I have money. <laughs> uh, okay, so I had just gotten... Yeah, I think I just did one star in the forest level. Which I believe... It yeah, yeah. It's behind. For some reason this hack is like, yeah. The first uh, hub world door is behind. Just some big brain shit. I actually really like that a lot. But, you know, I would never have thought of it. Alright, let's cook. Glowing from the Golden Tower. So, I don't know if I got the 100 coin star here either, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. Yeah, I was gonna save this for the next Mario Hack Mondays, but I found another Mario 64 hack that I think I'd like to do for that. Oh. Oh, it might be too much. Let's do the 8 red coins, I suppose. My view! Ooh, that's, that's, that's... Alright, well, you know what? That'll give me a chance to, uh... Change one setting here really quickly. Oh! Never mind, I can't. I can't change it. So, we're, we're dealing with it. I thought maybe I could reduce the frame drops. That is not, uh, my computer, by the way. At least, I hope it is. The Nintendo 64 could not possibly be that ridiculous. Is this lava? Oh, okay. That's scary. Smash box. Boing. Yeah, Mario 64 is... It's a nice game to look at, yeah. I agree, and listen to. I said about the only thing I could ask for is like slightly better controls. Not because I think they're really bad, but because I think 3D Mario games after this did it better, you know? But like... At the time this game came out, it was pretty damn impressive. But yeah, I have a Mario hack in mind for next Mondays, which I'm pretty excited to get to. I might end up beating it on my own time before I stream it, which would be pretty funny. But I think it's actually so cool that I don't mind. Oh. 
hear a bomb over here. Oh, whoa. Oh, I could get up this way. Oh, I love those book enemies. Is there even a point to going that way? There's stuff over here. Say so far this hack hasn't made any any major demands of me. That are too heavy on the platforming compared to vanilla. A little bit more though. But vanilla Mario 64's layouts were, were very basic. Because I gotta keep an eye out on my Discord DMs as well. So I mentioned I'd be joined by a special guest later, and he's got to prepare. Okay, oh, there's a. Okay. Oh, there's not a guy. There's just an A an A panel. Yeah, the Bowser level in this hack I remember being really mean. This is the star I already got, I think. No. Who could forget the fall damage? Yeah. Alright, let's go over this way now then. A cow piano? Why does it have a cow texture? That's very strange. Oh my god, I'm getting baited by these guys. Evil coin wallets. Yahoo! Yeah. Yeah. With it. Oh my god. That's evil. Yahoo! I got it though. Yeah. yeah, there's not a lot of SM64 hacks that really uh, aim to do this kind of thing. Or, well, there actually is, but they don't come out super often. But, uh... This one's real nice. The one I have in mind for next week, though, I've been playing on my free time. And I am, like, super in love with it. Hundred coin star. Ooh. These blues are adorable. I think we can actually get 150 coins here. It seems like they're pretty generous. I'll say the vibes in this level are very relaxing, yeah. which I like a lot. Yeah. Like, I'm just kind of chill. Yeah. Gotta find one more red. I can think of though when I play hacks like this is like, man, I wish this was compatible with the multiplayer mod, you know? But, alas. 
Playing through it on my own is a, is a fun little experience on its own, right? Uh, where could that last red coin be? I also just totally wish fall damage wasn't a thing, but... The other hack I, I want to play next Monday... I see it over there. The other hack I want to play next Monday uh, actually has no fall damage, which is really nice. Nice. Here we go. Okay, so that's 100 coins and the red coins done there. Dude, this hub world is really good. Uh... The glowing from the golden tower. That... I assume is the one that's that big spotlight over there. Or like that tower right there. How do I get up there though? I guess I have to climb. Climb these various monolithic structures in the middle of nowhere. Oh, and not miss my jump. Okay. These levels are starting to make some demands of me. Can't be as distressing as Wet Dry World. Yeah. Wet Dry World is a very funky looking world. I, I've always liked that level, but... Yeah. Man, is it odd, isn't it? Yeah. It is just a bizarre stage. Swift moves on the aqueduct. I wonder where that would be. This is a really compressed level, so I'm kind of surprised that there's stuff I just didn't see. It might be up that way. That's something else I really like about this hack so far, is that the levels are all really compact. I think it has to be that way. But how do I get up that high? I suppose I have to get up over there in the first place. I think one of the strangest things about Wet Dry World to me is like the fact that there's like a town completely submerged in that water. Like, who lives there? What even is all that, you know? It's a bizarre level. But I guess it, it, it's, it's, it's quite... quite quaint in that way. In the way that, like, almost every, uh, Mario 64 stages where the spaces feel somewhat liminal, you know? Just due to their limited knowledge of what they could do at the time. Okay, so I assume I have to come out up this way. Yeah, this seems about right. Oh yeah, here we go. Woo! 
clean! That was a sh movement, if you will. Here we go! What a relaxing... What a relaxing gaming experience. And not at all stressful. UFO! Is aliens in this level? Well, I guess the real question is... Who's my guest? You'll see who it is. What is this guy doing? Are they, just, are they turning the cows into the piano? There are cows in here. Okay, so I assume then that there's something that I have to do in here. Let's kill all the enemies. Cows are hittable. Earthworm Jim crossover? It is a game that notably has cows in it. Huh. Alright, well, we found the star. Weird level. Is that it? Getting deep in the woods. Oh, there's one more. Deep into the woods. Does that mean I have to go like... Deeper into the forest? I do like the vibes of this stage a lot. I think so far this is among my favorites. But I'm a big fan of like really relaxing levels like this. Okay, so there's gotta be a way in. Into the deeper woods. Uh, okay. Point of no return! Castlevania music? Frame drops! Oh shit. Hey, is that going down or is that just gonna stay? Oh fuck. Pushing your 64 to the limit. I'm curious what in there is even doing that. Gotta be honest. 
Anyways, uh, shouts to Castlevania Wicked Child, I guess. It sounds kind of weird in this sound font. You know, at least I get HP from the booze, right? I don't know what genius decided that, uh... That that coin should equal health. I can't see the floor, dude! Did you DM me? I bet you did. While I was in the middle of the... Okay, there we go. Hi! Everybody yeah. say hello to notable fighting game organizer, Polar Bear. Friend of the stream, despite having not been on it for like... God. That'd be years months. now. Was... Yeah. Or at least a year. But hey, you can watch me do the 5 FPS boo gauntlet. It's great. I actually don't know so, what frame rate it's running at, but I can guarantee you it has to be like... Oh, it's... <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little horrendous, but it's it's trying. It's, it's kind of shocking, because like... Okay. You know... I almost wonder if the frame rate makes this easier. Maybe? I... I like how this looks, though. Like, uh, just like the palette of it. It's pretty nice. Wait, okay, this hack visually is just amazing. Can you. No, no. Boo. Wait, where are you going? Okay. There we go. We just want to get him to the center platform. No. No? Why'd I do that? That was a foolish mistake. Uh, the big boo is up there. I don't know if he's coming down. Can you see him or? I can see his shadow. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, wait, I get it. Oh. I understand the mission objective. I, th I think? Can I. Can I even jump that high? need to do like a triple jump onto that? Does that work? That'd be kind of silly, but... I don't think you go any higher. I'm pretty sure this is just like the... It looks like it locks you into a suit! Oh, okay. So we, we've solved half of this. I understand how to get him over. Oh. Uh, oh, that hurt you. Fall damage. That's unfortunate. This is why we do not stand fall damage. I'm gonna make a safe state. We're gonna be a little cheap. Just for this. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm supposed to hurt this guy otherwise. Well, you're alive. Hold that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck is ground pounding? Do I gain height? What? 
Okay, we almost got it. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Right, I think that's everything in that level. Well, that was kind of ass, but you know what? I'll, I'll give you one pass. You're allowed to have like one L out of like the 41 stars I've gotten so far. Is not too bad. Uh, <laughs> what is? What is that? What is what? That face. On the bottom this right. Is a, this is a rare wear. Yeah, no, on the on the left. Like in the the map, like. Oh, oh, face. oh, yeah, that. Did you not see it? I mean, Did I didn't notice that. I wasn't really paying that much attention. Okay, fair. This is like this is very rare wear coded right now. I mean, yeah. I mean, hey, listen to the music too. Oh, you got me. I don't even have the vanish cap. Not this guy. Can you believe they put that in a Mario game and used an eye enemy? Yeah! No context. Oh, I can't even get all the red coins because I don't have the fucking vanish cab. I don't even know where to find it, to be quite honest. Oh. It can be oh. out! Okay. Nice. Walk it's the not... brisk bridges. It's not like. I'm thinking Sunshine, where you have to unlock the nozzles, right? You don't have to unlock the caps in this, necessarily. Yeah, you don't They're need just it. There. Yeah, I mean, you gotta find them, but... At least I think in this hack of you. It's pretty similar to the nozzles, actually. But oh, they, okay. they don't just unlock over time the way the nozzles do. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is a pretty cool hack, though. I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck the bridges are. I guess it's those over there. Dude. Yeah, I need to find the vanish cap too, I guess. But I don't know where it is. I don't even remember where I found the, uh... I mean, I guess. Sure. I mean, it's certainly not an ugly creature. It's just a cloud with a face. But they have a strong opinion on it. Is that another fake one? Okay. I was worried I was gonna get late epic trolled. And to be fair, uh, 64 Mario is also a beautiful creature. He is! I mean... Look at him. He, he becomes an even more beautiful creature if you get a low poly model. Oh, hey. Oh, it's a scuttlebug cave. Does that mean I can. No, okay. I thought there might be a warp in there. Yeah. That's all my brain can think when I see, like, an alcove <laughs> in that shape. Did you get around to watching that, uh. Like nearly four hour long video new, on invisible walls. Yeah, new panic code just dropped. I I haven't I haven't yet. Oh, it's it's good. Not that you needed me to tell you that. You probably already figured. Yeah, but... the way I've heard people talk about it, it's like a like existentially terrifying uh, reveal of some sort. <laughs> Don't like that. That picture just seems... worries me. Seems very. Yeah, very interesting that it's, you know, four hour long video on some sort of, you know, level based jank in Mario. Oh boy, is it ever. It, it is truly insane. Okay, good. I hear bats. Oh my god. Ooh. Help! Oh, is that like a picture of a Monty Mole? Everyone's favorite. Oh. Oh. Dang. Oh. I found the, uh... 
know if I found any of the other caps yet, to be quite honest. This level's layout is very strange. <laughs> I'm like... Where do I go? Uh... Like, I was under the impression that that might be what those bridges are, but... Oh, this, uh... Oh! Is this poison? No, okay, it's just... Thematically pretty. Yeah, he doesn't... He doesn't make that strangely realistic coughing. I, I mean, am I wrong? You're not, you're not. It is... Charles Martin Day definitely did maybe too good of a job on that one. I think it's very funny that he's, like, become the Mario guy. He, he has a range. He does! People don't know this. I mean, I always think... I don't remember who showed it to me. This sounds like something that, like, Pyro would uh, send to me. Someone from Frog Crew, maybe. Uh, but he did, like, Dracula in an advertisement for, like, some sort of computer software. I think it's called ECAD. And it's, it's good. It's really good. Yeah, he's... He's extremely talented. Like, one of the most. At least, as far as, a uh, Voice actors was, uh, I've heard go. Wasn't he in... He was one of the dragons in Skyrim, too, wasn't he? He was. He was the, the main one you fought. Like, the main one you found. Uh, the one that was on, like, the mountain. So, you kind of always hear him. Oh, I can't see the floor! Why? Mamma mia! Okay, I will, I will put the video in chat, and it's up to you if you or anyone else wants to play it. But... Maybe you have to yeah, get the Charles star. Martinet is Dracula. Charles Martinet is Dracula. That's a great sentence, to be honest. Yeah. I'm gonna need all these extra lives, apparently, because I keep fucking dying. Yo, that was a good physics moment right there. It was. There was some, some momentum, for sure. Based on the progress I'm making, though, it might be possible to any percent clear this tonight. Because you go for like, how many stars is it? 60 for this? I don't know what the needed amount is for the final area on this one. But I will say, uh, there's like 120 or some stars or whatever, comparable to the base SM64. So I assume that it, like the required amount is like somewhere in the 60s or 70s. These hacks like to be a little free for him. Oh my god. Hi, how are you? I'm a little Nah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh Getting really anxious for some reason. Sleepy? Oh yeah, you're no, in a I'm... European time zones, so you're pretty far ahead. You live in the future. Okay, Fuush's high up hideout, I think I actually know where this is. I think it might have been that thing I saw where I was like, that scared me. It was, uh... Okay, well I saw it. The UK is the most dire future imaginable. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. I guess. I'll have to take your word for it. I don't live there. I... Unless yeah, I do. I do. Who knows? Who could say for sure, really? You could, yeah. Nobody has proof I don't live there. Except for, like, the government. Oh. We don't talk about them. The last stream I did of this, uh, there's a lot of interesting conversation points. So I hope this time I can, uh, I can match that amount of interesting conversations. I bought a new stick today. Nice. Yeah, pretty my, good. my current one is, like, it's pretty old. It was a, a Rap 4 Kai, and I got it back when it was new. 
Which means it's like... We're talking like 2015, 2016 ish. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's that's pretty old for a stick. Uh, yeah, it lasted pretty long, I guess. Yep, but I'm like, I feel like whatever's happening is like a wiring issue or like some kind of thing, because like every now and then it just did drops. Did it just kind of. Yeah. Did it like hit one day or was it just like gradual? It was gradual, I would say. Like, sometimes buttons don't work, but it's not consistent. So, like, any amount of troubleshooting I can do is like. Well, if it only doesn't work sometimes, then, like, what is it really, right? Mm, yeah, sure. Because normally if it's, like, a button issue, it will not work at all, I want to say. So yeah, I was I've just, so like, far avoided any issues, but I'm, I've been thinking about, I'm sure I'll need one eventually, because I got a drone in 2019, back when they were still making them, I think, just at the end of, like, that era. Oh, they're still making new ones. I think they released the drone 2 now, though, I think. Is the yeah. Drone. It's just the price point, right? Everything's like $200 at least. Yeah. I, I bought an Obsidian too, which is pretty expensive, but... I imagine it'll be worth it, because I hear yeah, they last pretty long. The kind of purchase you make once every, like... I mean, your last one lasted you, what, like eight, nine years? So yeah, and it was a fucking... It was a Hori, which is, I hear, the, the more budget-friendly ones anyways. See, I don't, I, I don't know much about sticks, but I know the Hori N64 pad is like preferred uh, among a lot of Smash 64 players. So that's like my, that's like my window into Hori products. Let's fucking go. But yeah, I got Obsidian too. I don't know when it's gonna ship, but the order went through, so it's probably gonna ship within like the next week. So I'm sort of like playing a bit less plus R than I'd like to, but. It's a matter of like, okay, do I have to get like blown over here? Dang. I blow yes. me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Out of context, T5. Woo! Right. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I I recently ordered a bunch of Mister stuff uh, so I could play N64, uh, N64 adapters. Uh, I got. Composite video adapter, so I can actually run it on CRTs. Oh god, that's expensive, that Mister. Though I remember looking into it and thinking, like, what the hell is this shit? I think for like, yeah, because of our dollar, it's like seven hundred or something. Oh yeah, like, no, I mean like, yeah, I was looking at the American price of like Mister stuff, and I'm like, what the fuck do you mean it's that much? Because somebody's like, oh, you should totally get a Mister. I was like, oh sure, that sounds like a cool way to. Okay. I am perfectly fine emulating. Because Mister is just that anyways, as far as I know. It's a bit more accurate because it's FPGA, I believe. So like it doesn't it doesn't make any concessions there, but it's also like Hey. Did you ever look at like the price of it? I think it's worth it unless like if you already own a whole lot. Hold on? What? I sorry, no, I was being called or something. Uh if I, I just think it's worth it, like, unless you already own a bunch of consoles already and then it's like, well, it's not saving me that much, right? Well, the way I see it, right? For for event running and stuff, yeah, absolutely. But for me, like, emulators work perfectly fine. And yeah, they're all that's, fairly that's accurate. True. And the input latency is pretty low, especially on a 240 hertz monitor. Which I have. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm in no rush to get one, but I thought about it anyways. That's nice, yeah. I'm gonna be right back, but I can talk more about Mister because I mean, I've had it for a bit, and I have honestly barely used it outside of fighting games, which is kind of a problem. But yeah, the RB. That's my phone. Whoa. Oh goody, that's my work. Hold on. Hello.
Right up back. I made it. About not dead. Oh God. I would love Cliff to call me on the phone. That would be a personally enriching. Is Cliff is gonna break out of your computer if he feels he's being ignored? Yeah. He might. Okay. But yeah, I got a new stick. It was pretty expensive, but I'm sure it'll be worth the money. Uh, what else? I don't have the vanish cap. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I genuinely don't know where the vanish cap is. Uh, oh, okay, I'm back. Yeah, they are just like, hey, do you want to come in tomorrow? I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Not really, no. I'm, I... I'm right there with you, buddy. I mean, so far... So far, they've been pretty good about not calling me in suddenly, but I mean, I work at Home Depot, that's like a, a bigger brand. Yeah, well, it was just like, I'd like to have two days in a row off. I'm very picky. Nice. I, I like having weekends. What, do you not have that? Uh, no, I, I do. I do have weekends pretty consistently. It's just otherwise I'm working, you know, full 40-hour weeks. That's my dream, as sad as that sounds. I would it's, like it's nice. Uh, my only problem is that I start at uh, 6 a.m. So. Oh yeah. Well, okay, but that means you leave at like what? Three? Yeah, like 2:30. If you yeah, 2:30, counting the breaks. That's yeah, that's pretty good. All right. I mean, you know. Hold on. I'm trying to think of where I recognize this song from. You you recognize this? Maybe I don't. Part of it sounded a, a bit like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for some reason. Oh, I gotta. Okay. I might be totally off on that one. I just tried to find where the Vanish Cap is, and I remembered I did not do a lot of this level. But yeah, like this bit of the song right here sounds like it. But yeah. Uh. But if they call me in for Thursday, I'll hell I take it. It's funny, uh, this this week and next week are like the only weeks where I'm not working 40 hours so far. I mean, next week I've got literally, I've got three days where I'm not working. So I'm only working Tuesday and Thursday, which is great because I get to uh, do more driving classes. Oh, you don't have your license yet? I don't have my G2 yet. I have my G1. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I got, I got to complete got mine. Uh, I have to. Uh, that's the goal for this year. On top of getting a better job, is completing my uh, my full G. Hell yeah, love to set achievable goals. It's just like you know, there are so many events, and I know so many people now, and it's like, sorry, I can't go to this because flights are like seven hundred dollars, and I'm not, I'm not doing that multiple times a year. Yeah, no way. Even people that have like. Uh, good income in the FGC don't make every event anymore. Just yeah, unless you're like Where hardcore... <laughs> Sorry, unless you're hardcore like gaming the, uh, the, uh, points card system, which, I mean, people do, but I don't, I don't feel like I'd have the attention span for that. Yeah, no way. Fuck that. Yeah, like, I work, like, 20 to 25 hours a week at the moment, which is not terrible. That's better than a lot of not, people I hear, but it's not ideal. If it's not minimum wage, then yeah, you're doing pretty good. Oh, it isn't actually. It's a little bit above. And I have a yeah. union and benefits. <laughs> so my dental is paid for. It's just really bizarre to think about. That's good, yeah. I mean, mine... I went in recently because I haven't been for an embarrassingly long time and I had to pay out of pocket. But it wasn't crazy expensive. It was... Yeah, no, dentistry isn't too bad unless you get like... I had to get an x-ray. So I was like, oh, thank God I have a card. I was like, uh, so I just show you the card, right? And they're like, yeah. Like, okay, thank you. Yeah. 
But yeah, ideally I would like to upgrade up to, you know, 40 hours a week. And then... You know, I can just have an income that I, that I want more. And then I could maybe make more than one trip a year. Maybe like two, I'll which isn't... think about... Yeah. It's like, I want to go to Combo Thinking Breaker at least once, you know? I was posting about, like... It's funny that I haven't been uh, in five years, and I might keep going once every five years, just because how else am I going to afford that? Combo Breaker? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... This time around flights weren't too bad, I got it early and I think it was like 450, 500, could have been worse. Yeah, like I'm doing Boston Bluebeat, maybe, when they do their beach episode, because somebody's literally offering to house me. But all I would have to do is pay for the flight, which, on, on its own, beyond like the event reg, would not be a ridiculously high number. Like it would be like, oh I'd pay like, a pretty high amount for the flight probably, but then I wouldn't have to pay for the hotel either. Which saves a lot. Like, if it's just the flight, then it's just basically like a couple hundred bucks for a weekend, though, which is bad. Oh, this is melee target theme? That's it nice. It is. I, I actually sincerely feel like, despite the fact that we're talking about flights, and that's true, I really do think the hotel is the one that really whips your balls when it comes to uh, these events. Well, the problem is getting one uh, is very hard. Getting one is and hard, and then they're like, station. they're pretty fucking expensive nightly, I would say. So like, on top of that, you're like, oh yeah, you know, trying to pay about... How much a night? Yeah, I would that... never... It Usually it's like, what, 300? Something like that? I hate this Maybe look. like 250? Oh, like, I feel like if you're lucky, you'll get something like that. Yeah, so you, you basically you either go with a bunch of people and you split between like five people in a fucking room, or um, you can like <laughs> you either have a friend that lives it around the venue and you go stay at their house and it's free, or you don't go. Cause like for for me like the most expensive part is always been the hotel. When I look at like the the pricing. Yeah, and I mean, Airbnb is not cheap anymore. What is? <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, oh yeah, my income last year was really good. It was like, four or five thousand more. And then I was like, you know, I'm not gonna feel that way by the time I'm done everything, but you know. Hey. What can you do, right? But yeah, that that's my story so far. As far as events go, I just don't have the time, but I have been looking for work. So eventually something will happen. For me, I'm just like... I'm disappointed that uh, UMAD this year is so close to Combo Breaker because it means I can't go. And that one's in Canada too, it's like that, that's, that's culturally important for you. Yeah, because it's like... Quebec is a very nice... well, it's Montreal specifically, uh, is a very nice city. The scene plays fucking anything. Yeah, those motherfuckers like, are kind of unhinged. But I mean that in like a really good way, but like I've met T-Spin. Yeah. That guy is... he's built. And one of the main TOs, uh, Kyle, is like a big Neo Turf Masters guy, so that's like a baseline. Oh, that's real. Like, it gets... yeah, and it gets so much funnier from there. Here we go! Like, how, how can you really go downhill? That, that's like such a great opener. Secret of the Slime Pillar? What? I don't even know what that is. Oh my god, is it? Oh, oh, I think I do know what that is, but I don't like it. I think I decided against doing this back when I first played the stage, but here I go. That's a good sign. 
Oh, so it's like, yeah, you, you've got to do this. Don't fuck up here. Oh, maybe it... Okay, well, it's not what I thought it might have been, then. Oh, whoops. Here we go! But yeah, work situation is like, fine. I have a job, I have a pretty good amount in my savings account, but I don't want to spend it all on traveling when I'm not responsible. But if I get a better job at scrolling down the crapper, that is instantly that money is vacuumed out of my account. No shame. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's not irresponsible if you got more money. I saw the coins. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> okay. We just went from punch out to <laughs> melee, I guess. I'm just sitting here like, huh, can he do that? Yeah, you know, because I don't think this situation ever really comes up in Phase 64. Or at least you'd never have to do this. Here we go! Yeah, Frosty Faustings, as a Guilty Gear player, I feel like I'm obligated to go there. Like, that's just not even a question. Like, that's pretty much the only event that'll have dedicated plus R setups. Yeah, that shit is a pilgrimage, uh, and it's like the side games are also very stacked. So, is Frosty's like one that you plan on making regular as well? I will unless something makes it like very expensive, but it seems like a lot more attainable, yeah, than a uh, combo breaker. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit less premium, I would argue, in that regard. But combo breaker, you, you get what you pay for, and it is a, an extremely well-run event. Like, Definitely. And like, for CB, uh, I am friends with the guy who's running the Monster Rancher bracket, which is a very funny thing to say. It'll make sense later. <laughs> yeah? Well, like uh, I said, when it, when it comes to CB, it's, it's like, it's, it's pretty expensive. Oh, wait, oh, sorry, go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his name's Nash. I've known him since uh, we both played Smash. Holy shit. Uh, Oh yeah, this is like 2015, 2016, I guess. Because like I don't think he's ever played melee like competitively, so it was like Smash 4 3DS onwards, <laughs> and and he hasn't played Smash in forever. Uh, he played fighting games for a bit. I mean, I guess he still does sometimes. He was always hanging around uh, Frog Crew's like One Must Fall stuff as well, but uh, he's really kind of. I guess he's a content creator for Monster Rancher at this point. He's like a TO content creator. For and uh, Monster Rancher. They let, they let that game into Combo Breaker, so there's like a very specific setup they do. So you can have like. You can import your monsters or you can use rental monsters and whatever. Okay. He's got that all explained on his, uh, his channel somewhere. That's. Yahoo! Incredible. I mean, you can watch it, you can, you can see how it works. I don't think I can explain it. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a human way for you to explain that to me and have it make any sense. But I don't mean that in a bad way, I'm just like, oh. Yeah. You can just run a monster cool. rancher bracket, I guess. Like, okay, well, what's, what's something that people can play against each other? This counts. It's like we did an urban champion bracket. Okay. But yeah, like, Combo Breaker, I, I think, is, like, far more premium. It's a very well-run event with, like, great staff and, like, all that. But it, it is definitely, like... I consider it, like, the successor to, like, what people idealize Evo as, but it still has the thing of, like, being expensive. <laughs> like, it is not Evo expensive, though. I remember looking at those numbers. Yeah, that... I don't think I'll do Evo again unless, like, I win the lottery. Yeah, I'm like, like, how the fuck? The only justification for that is if you're a competitor or you're, like, dead set on running something and that's your only trip. For me, anyways. Because it's just, like, that is so fucking expensive.
That's a pit, isn't it? Because I, I remember like looking at like the Evo numbers and I'm like, what the fuck? And like Frosty's was pretty expensive compared to last year, but they also um, made it a, a longer event. And it was ran extremely well. I think this year's was better than last year's. The setups for Plus R were a lot better. Uh, not perfect, but better. Like, substantially. The transition to PC has been really, really difficult, but definitely worth it, I guess, compared to PS3. Yeah, I'm happy it's getting somewhere. But, uh, like, my experience at Frosty's this year was straight up just better than it was last year. And so to me, that's like, well, I couldn't ask for much more, could I? The in-venue water was also incredible. I don't know what the fuck that was all about, but it was amazing. I mean, the fact that it was provided at all was great, but, like, it tasted better than water you could buy outside of the venue. Yeah, it's honestly true. I mean, I, like... It was so good. I, mean, I was... And you you were also masking up, too, as much as you could. Yes! Generally, like, unless unless there was, like, no convenient way for me to do it, I was wearing it. And I was just like, I don't want to... Yeah. I want to be careful because I'm traveling on a plane and shit. Yeah, so, like, stepping out of the room to, like, get water uh, was heaven. It was, it was life-changing. Yeah, the fact that it... It was so good. Just, go. oh, it was beautiful. What, what more could you really ask for? Yeah, I think Frosty was an event where I very much, like, had to pace myself. And I thank uh, Ryudo for giving me that advice, because he, like, I don't remember how it came up, but I know I asked him on co-host something about that, like, you know, how do you kind of handle majors? So, you know, I would not be shy about stepping out or even going full on back to my room between brackets just to make sure I'm good. And it helps. Yeah. You know, taking your time, making sure you're you're, you're mentally all there. What the heck? What? Oh. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta get more food. Hell yeah! Oh, there's something up there. I gotta find the vanish cap. Is what I gotta do, but I don't know where that would be. Yeah. This tree is a different color. Wait, is there something on top of it? Oh, it's a one up. But yeah, Frosty's was. It was amazing. Oh, yeah, dude, the water was so good. And let me tell you, it helped me a lot too during. Uh, during top eight, I was definitely very happy to have access to it. Quick man theme. Oh, oh. Up, up, up. Is this a level? No, oh, it's not. Well, it is, but it isn't. So honestly, I'm really bad about eating at majors. I should probably try to be better. I like subsist off of very little. I just don't know where the fuck to go. And I'm a picky eater, so this makes things easy.
Of course, it probably also doesn't help that I don't like to spend a ton of money. Like, I'm, I'm a little, uh... Honey bear- oh, I, uh, I went to a pancake place for breakfast, uh... I wanna say on Sunday it was quite good. It was not Honeyberry though. They were like full on reservations. And I was like, I don't wanna wait. I just wanna eat my goddamn food. I had um pumpkin spice pancakes. Pumpkin spice pancakes were fucking delicious that I had. I don't remember where I went though. But it was it was awesome. Okay, well there's a star right here, but is there anything else here? Alright, we're back. Oh, this is Mega Man. It's in time for Quick Which Man. Yes, yeah, this is Mega Man. Two, yeah, Quick, Quick Man. Man. I was hoping this would be the Vanish Cat, but uh, I was just talking about food at majors, like, I don't eat a lot, and I probably should, but I really- Yeah, you, you should balance it. I think, like, eating a solid breakfast definitely is a move, I mean, yeah. He was talking about honeyberry, I think the first day, I got, like, a, uh, an omelette from there, and th this thing was huge, and it, like, kind of kept me going until at least, like, four or five. It's kind of crazy. I'm just having like a somewhat decent breakfast at <laughs> one of these veggies can like fucking sustain you. People forget. It's just like. What do they call yeah, it? The most not... important meal of the day, dude. Yeah, and you're not gonna like be able to snack during the day easily. You're, like, you're not carrying stuff that much stuff around with you, so. Think about it. Where am I going? What is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking Power Rangers. Nice. What? Why is he- why is he walking backwards? Alright, bye. Oh wait. He's like retreating. Zappa. Fuck, he blocked it, I couldn't see it. Oh. Mind you, I just, I just found this course on the overworld. Yeah, this uh, hack is set up in an interesting way. This is the funniest King Babam boss I think I've fought. There's definitely one way to make it more challenging. What if he walked away instead? It, it, it's crazy that his his AI with that one edit still kind of works. Here we go. Yeah, well, that was not where the vanish cap was. So I'm sad. Dang. As I am still hunting for it. But, uh, maybe it's over here, here, this pipe. Oh, wait, no, that's like a hit room. Uh, I don't know. Is that. Unless it's in the ice level somewhere. Possibly. Yeah, it's like. I guess, in concept, it's not too different from, like, the castle as a hub, but I think this is just a lot more rareware. It's a lot more funny and open. 
kind of stumbling across new levels. Yeah, I'm at a loss. Yeah, I went to some place that had pumpkin spit pumpkin spice pancake. It was quite good. Sounds crazy. Kinda white girl pancakes, but you know, they were very good. I didn't really check what other flavors they had though. There's a chance that there was something like even better. It's like, what do you do at Home Depot? Well, usually I'm just like cleaning out and stocking shelves, but they've had us on, uh, they call them projects where we're like set up new displays, we'll, uh, take old ones down, climb ladders, put out new product. That's sick. Yeah, so like for the. I guess uh, late spring, early summer, they've got like, you know, they'll, they'll put out uh, garage resurfacing stuff. You know, obviously lawnmowers and everything. Here we go! Who we got co yeah. This is my good friend Polar Bear. Who, uh,. He's I've been very around. intelligent. Yeah, he's very intelligent. That's why he still plays fighting games, because he's smart. <laughs> Ignore that comment. <laughs> I mean, I can't refute it. I'm, I'm gonna take it, because that sounds better than, than what I have in mind. What, what did you have in mind? I was just thinking, like... Uh, so, <laughs> I recently, like got injured at work, something like heavy kind of fell towards me and like bent my glasses. Uh, it didn't like leave me with too bad of a mark, but I was like thinking, you know, this can't possibly give me brain damage because I already play fighting games. <laughs> Real? Was a thought I had. Probably not my best to be honest, but <laughs> I can't unthink it. How much worse could it get, right? Like mentally, I'm where? Like, I play Cliff and Plus R. How how well adjusted could I be, really? Oh, Vanish Cap. Very funny how that works. The guy who plays like the character from Hell is actually super nice and inviting, and you you should you will shake his hand if you meet him. Oh, I know this song. This is... Why, did... Why is Mega Man soccer music in this game? I'm, gl I'm glad you recognize that. I'm really sorry that I know that it's from that game. If Many Ninjas is in my chat right now, he is currently having a heat stroke. You're always telling me about this game. And by always, I mean like once every few months. Can, there he is in the chat! He's there! You cannot escape me! I know! Dude, listen! Here it is again! Here I am thinking Mega Man Soccer... ...cannot run my life. An, an obscure classic. I think it's very funny that I could, like, probably put this on Mr. It, it'll run. This? No, Mega Man Soccer. Th th this hack, maybe? I don't know. I don't know where uh, N64 support is at right now. Yeah, because that's the only other thing I know about Mister is that it's still quite experimental in some ways. Yeah. The other thing is, I, like, streaming I, from it would be a pain in the ass. Because uh, it just outputs to a monitor, right? Or, like, a device. Uh, uh, I believe there's... There's a, uh, like, they're called analog and digital, and analog will only output to one uh, type of connection at a time, so it can do 
just HDMI or just a component which you can convert into as video or whatnot. Right. Uh, for digital, it can output both at the same time, so that makes it easier depending on your setup. But uh, well, I meant like just you could like, always use an HDMI splitter if you wanted to. I was just thinking like, would I need a capture device? Because it's technically. I don't think you need like a dedicated. I, I oh actually yeah I guess you would because uh yeah it's you treat it as a console more or less. Like, unless it can output directly to your computer through proprietary software, they have. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it does that, but... That's the main, the nice thing about it, and like, now that Saturn is official and not like a work in progress for, uh, is that you've got a standardized setup for a lot of things, which is kind of a, the issue with PC, right? Is getting things, getting everything working. Yeah, standardized. But like, for fighting game TOs and everything, it is unbelievably useful. But for me, it is like, I don't know, pretty cool. It's definitely very cool. Don't kick me out, please. Here we go! Thank you. Fucking on my hands and knees begging. Got one more reg for man. I forget what fucking song this is, uh, what exactly this is from Mega Man Soccer, but I do know it is. Which, you know, you could run a Mega Man Soccer bracket if you wanted to. Not that I'm saying you should, but, you know, if you were just, like, thinking, you know, hypothetically, you know, you were looking for something funny to do. I'm not you, you know, obviously I can't be your boss or anything. But a Mega Man soccer bracket will be pretty funny. <laughs> but I don't know how morally opposed you are to that idea. What is all this shit on the sides for? Is there another star here? Here we go! Did I go look? I guess I should, huh? Get some more Mega Man soccer. Your favorite game. Which, again, I think like the funniest thing about. Whoa! Oh, my controller. My controller's out of battery. I think the funniest thing about Mega Man soccer is not like just that I'm saying Mega Man soccer, but also the fact that it exists, right? It's, I mean, they never uh, localized it even, right? No, so they did. They were, it, it got an thing. English release. Oh. Mega Man Soccer is, in fact, like, playable. In the United States. Yeah. It, what? Oh. What? Bye. Oh, no. Did the ceiling leak through? Hold on, we have to find out. Do you think these Mario hacks are made in adherence to the... the... <laughs> Did you do it again? I might have. I, I, I might have. GG. I might have, don't laugh. I, I'm thinking... Uh, the other reason I brought up Nash is because apparently he's driving to Combo Breaker, and uh, so he'll be... He'll be able to take some of us to Galloping Ghost Arcade. Oh, oh, dude, it's so worth it. Although, like, half of that shit does not work. Oh, true. That's, I mean, that's accurate, right? Yeah, no, when I was playing accurate. with Krakon, uh, I was playing VSAV, but I couldn't do, I couldn't down back. <laughs> which... Don't need to, boss. Which might, which might make things a little difficult. But he was—he kept doing like hop dash pressure, and I'm like, dude, I, I literally can always block that because I, I I can't block if you press low. Just go low; it's unblockable. It's very funny. I wonder like what 
games work there. Because. <laughs> ah! Fucking geometry is so ass. Oh, yeah, you can play uh, Street Fighter 2 on those shitty hat parts if you want. Did you ever play on the, uh. The OG? I think I have. We've got a couple shitty barcades here that really don't offer anything else. Oh, yeah, no, they're fucking horrible. Alright, I'm done with this. They're like. Those parts are not good. Is what I'll say on that matter, you know. I uh, I won't hold you. They are pretty bad. I said something I'm looking forward to at the Obsidian, right? That I ordered is uh, I ended up switching the buttons out of my off of my my Hayabusa because I just they were they were wearing out, and I wasn't super big on the Hayabusa buttons, anyways. Which is my ultimate hesitation. With, uh, with going with another horror stick after all that time. Not because I thought they were bad, yeah. but like, I, I do love the Hayabusa lever, but I don't know if I love it enough to... Um, want to use yeah, it Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Because it still has some small issues, and it was like, well, you could get a different spring in it, and I kept looking into things like, oh yeah, you could do, redo the wiring, and I'm just like, man, that is so much fucking work for, like, replacing something that is almost a decade old, that I would just rather spend the premium or whatever to just get a new stick, and then if I have trouble with that, I can do more. Star Fox. Is Star Fox 64's map screen? That's an interesting choice. Kinda works. Honestly, also I could get Discord Nitro if I get a better job, which would be very funny, because then I could, I could finally maybe make my own server and, and fill it with stupid ass soundboard shit that I can spam to other people. But I would use it responsibly, I'll have you know. Uh, Falco Lombardi, this is horrible. Would absolutely be one of them. Star Fox 64 might be like one of the most quotable video games I've ever played, by the way. It's been a while, but I think I have uh, 64 3D. Like... Yeah. I, I could... I could rhyme off so many lines in that game. There, there are just... I remember when the Giga Leak happened and we got to hear all the uncompressed voice samples. Oh, it sounded so weird. It was, I'm glad we got Mega Man Soccer in here. That made me really happy. I'm just very glad. This is oh! part of the B5 lore. No, it's, it's literally just many ninjas whenever there is, like, something related to Mega Man Soccer, he always lets me know. I don't know why, but I appreciate it every time he does. It's just like, why me? I've never even streamed that. What? What? There's more stuff over there. This is an evil, evil chorus. Look at all the lava here. It's clearly ill intention. Well, I've never seen good lava, so. You haven't? Yeah, I guess neither have I, really. <laughs> you know, can lava be good? That's what we're talking about here. Oh! Okay, I thought you got hit. I mean, is something like a lava lamp? What? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nailed I, it. I got it, dude. I got it, it was perfectly convenient. And not at all dangerous to my health. 
The silver world is nice. I have to find the vanish cap now. Because, like, that cave we were in was down over there. Where the fuck is the vanish cap? I wonder if it's in the, uh... The first area at this point. This has been kind of the theme of this this stream right here, is finding the goddamn vanish cap. Yeah, you know, we established it very early on. And you know, now I'm still not totally sure if it's real. Maybe the real vanish cap is the, is the joke. I, I can't believe people are like getting hype for uh, Project L at EVO Japan when we got both Garou 2 and Hunter x Hunter. Oh, you don't want to call... you don't want to call it its real name? No, it's just, it's just what like Elon Musk named his son. <laughs> Come on. Not even a little bit. You don't want to say it? It's so... Oh, I'm a big fan of 2XKO. Can't wait to play uh, Echo and uh, fucking Darius. Have they added Darius to that one yet? Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Let's see what this Dazzle level is all about. I don't even know who, like. I mean, obviously, I know the popular characters like Vi and Ari and stuff, but I don't know about any of the guys. I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm not a big carer. You know, you know me, man. I'm just... Whoops, that's the turbo button. Don't hit that. Would not recommend you play it that on. Dude, I love this instrument that's coming out. The war, war. What is it called? I know there's a name for it. I'm a fool. It's a good question. Yeah. You don't know either. I- I'm lost. I want to say- hold on. Let me look this up just so to, to make sure I got it. Are you fucking kidding? Okay, this doesn't 100% sound like it. Maybe they pitched it down, but... Sounds like a, a sitar. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> it was on the tip of my tongue. Is it sitar I, I or sitar? Probably sitar. Well, it's a better name than 2XKO, I'll tell you that. Got their ass. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like a. This, the thing this is, is, I know people that worked on that broke. game. <laughs> so I feel kind of bad when I talk about it like this. But at the same time... Yeah, right? Because it's like, you know, they got, they got Pat the Flip working on that shit. You telling me that Pat the Flip looked at that name and went, Yeah, man. That's what I want to put my name on. <laughs> Come on, Pat! I think these people are here to do a job, and that, that, does, not, <laughs> that does not fall under the scope of their responsibility, but damn. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Obviously, you are not responsible for the name, but I feel like you could totally just chime in and be like, Hey man, I know you're really- Wait, is I this got... the Halo theme? <laughs> this is the Halo God. theme. God! On a seat star? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I got invisible walled, by the way, did you see that? I got invis walled by the fucking yeah. seesaw. Ever since I watched that video, I know too much! I know why that happened now! I know why the ceiling tile leaked through! There, There's a lot to take in here, and I think the realization hitting us that it's Halo theme, but for the desert, is fucking killing me. I, I mean, listen, man. You don't remember when Master Chief went in that pyramid? It's like, oh, that's, that's why it's like... That's why it, it sounds like this. Cause they're doing the fucking choir that Halo does. That's like one of the hardest video game themes, in all honesty. Yeah, it's like when the drums here hit, it's like, oh. Oh, that's what it is. It's just 
you would never expect to fucking hear this in a Mario attack, let alone on a Cita. That was her. Bowser is sending some heinous things on Xbox Live Messenger right now. I will never forget that one voice thing that's like, oh, and you're gay or whatever, and the guy just starts like playing like a, a song. And it's good. Have you heard that one? The voice yeah, that should, like, yeah, that one's so good. I, I don't remember the original, but I know there's like a version where he just busts out Spark Mantle seed, and that, that one's really good. Dude, I, I... What, what did the... they do to Halo, where it just kind of lost its sauce? Like it lost no, everybody's its... like, oh man, Halo Infinite is going to be so awesome, and then like people are like, this looks like ass, and then people are like, no man, just gotta, gotta give it time, yeah, and then it like... came out, and then it sucked, and I'm like, well, that wasn't surprising. Like, uh, like... <laughs> Halo 3 was good, right? And like, what came after that? Was it Reach, or was Reach before Halo 3? I don't even know, dude. I only play boomer shooters anyways, so I'm like far from the authority on this. Yeah. yeah. We need to give a lot more genres their air shake. Uh, I'll probably get like big into RPGs now that I can just play a lot of them legit on Mister. Cause like now I've been kind of put on Sweet Coda. and I might as well try like uh, Breath of Fire cause that looks and really interesting. Oh. You could have done this a while ago, but at least your mister has motivated you to play more funny games. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, I follow a lot of Dragon Quest fans. There's you, there's uh, a friend of mine, Marcus. Why?! So <laughs> Okay, that one, I could not have seen that one coming. I don't blame you. Yeah. I think they like deliberately made this stage like kind of kind of long just so you could take in the Halo theme. They probably so we're looking for like an old RPG. Um, hmm. that's really good. Okay, well, have you played Chrono Trigger? I don't want to answer that. I mean, you can. I I'm don't not want, gonna shame. I don't you. want this stream to become. I can't believe you haven't played Chrono Trigger. Man. I mean. Why would it because ever you be can't, that? because I haven't. I mean, hey, you got your perfect chance now. It's right. I could play Chrono Cross, too, because that's uh, PS1, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that one's so quality. I actually don't know, but I've already heard. I, I what the?! Fuck <laughs> me, come yeah, that, on! That one, you... No, you I couldn't that see it! You just, like, warped down! You've, you've jumped over that one. I tried to jump again and he just ran right off. I don't think I should make a safe state in the level. Well, <laughs> you, you know what they say, get me one shame on me, get me twice shame on you. Like, I don't know like... Listen, my experience with RPGs uh, starts and stops at Pokemon. So, oh god. I mean, I I'm aware, I'm aware of uh, Saga noted series for sickos. Pokemon is like fine, but once you've gone past, but Pokemon still has a niche. I can't lie. Yeah, it's like I don't think anything has a gameplay of Pokemon, which is very funny to say because it's like. Simultaneously very basic and also pretty well designed. Please do not I think get it's just, walled. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to give it credit because it's like, well, this is Pokemon. This is the RPG for babies, but and the uh, notable quality dip uh, as of late is not helping. Oh well, yeah. What can I say, man? I'm sure. I'm sure the next one they'll really uh, do it. I mean, they did it with Legends Arceus. It's the part that I, I think is just so funny. Like they've yeah, clearly so proven like, that they can. Now that they're doing another one of those, maybe it'll be a real game. That would be so sick. I'm safe stating here. I don't want to be on this shit again. I don't want to get owned by this like minor dip in the floor. Ooh, okay, you got it. 
Where am I going? Okay. Oh. Yeah, that was uh, a little scary. I sure hope this isn't just random stage geometry. I think it's funny just like how far you can grab onto things in this. If you can see it, you can usually jump to it. Wait, there's a red coin. Is it over here? Or is it over there? I think it was over there, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it over there. Last Bitcoin. Time for a save state. I made one. Uh, yeah. Alright, yeah. Let's, let's call him. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy this Halo theme. It's. Honestly, it's time. honestly kind of good, yeah. I just, I, I saw like the uh, attempted long jump, and I think about how like I've seen clips of speedrunners like fail a long jump at the start of the run and just reset flat out because the game is just that competitive. Yeah, that's the real difficulty with SM64 speedrunning is just like. Fucking standards for even just like a bare bones ass basic run of the game now. That's elevated like comically high, I want to say. Where would this even be? Oh my god, don't tell me. Oh. All right. So basically at the entrance. Good. Last well, safe state. I'm not doing all that again. I'm sorry. It's cool. Just find your way back. Easy. I mean, I know where to go at least. But boy, if it isn't complicated. Well, there's a little shortcut here. I don't have to get that rank coin over that way. Oh yeah, it's true. Pokemon does have the Pikachu. It does have many timeless designs. I mean, the same is true of like Dragon Quest. But yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're, we're talking like the slime, right? Yeah, the slime. It has a bunch of solid monsters, but I think like most people will probably recognize the slime. Oh. There was a recent like series of uh, I guess figures uh, for Dragon Quest reveal. One of them was a slime, obviously, a metal slime. I think one of them was like one of the dudes. It's like straight up just a rock, which is a very funny choice. Or like the the rock with like the face, right? The crag. Yeah, just straight up the boulder with the face. I love those guys. They are self-destruct. Oh, of course. I guess that's where Pokemon got Geodude and Rattler from. Yeah. Up. Was Greg? Well, he might have. I don't know if the bomb crags were. Uh... I mean, the fact that they blow up is like the, the connecting piece of the puzzle for me. Why well, does more more meant like? I don't know what Dragon Quest game they debuted in. If it was before Pokemon, but you know what? It, there's a good chance. That's true. Here we go. Okay, now we can go do this. Oh, hey, it's Bowser. Oh, breaking Bad? Oh. Why are there- oh god. Oh, I forgot about fucking Bowser too. The one that 
takes multiple hits to know. I think it's very funny that Bowser has these powers that he just kind of doesn't exhibit. In <laughs> he doesn't exhibit in later games at all. Like, I don't think he teleports anymore. That should have been his role in Smash. God. <laughs> we talked about Ultimate Season 2 last time and how it made Smash Brothers worse. I don't know if you agree with me, but I think it did. That... I, I can agree with you, but I also think it's very funny that, like, the exact words Kazuya Mishima have become, like, a part of every Smash's vocabulary now. Does it need to teleport though, anymore? Like... I mean... I mean, yeah, Dragon Quest was, like, 80... what? 1988? Maybe earlier? It was pretty early, and Pokemon was like 95, the JP release. Even if they'd been working on it for a couple of years, it still places it at like 93. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Mamma mia! Want me to like jump off this when I hit it? Is that what you want? That is a pretty devious trick on their part. I can't see what way the- oh my god. Oh, this is the airship theme from uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. It's nice. I do think it's- Stop! Fun, but... Mario! Oh Mario my god. 64. Did Mario 64 make much, like, in the way of references to past games? I feel like no, right? I'm oh, sorry, like, the like obvious characters. But, like... Yeah, musically, not really. Do I have to get there fast enough? <laughs> This is like a moon side from Earthbound, I guess, or whatever it's called. Uh, I know what they want me to do. That makes a lot of sense, Future JC. I guess, I guess I'm thinking about it in like with parallel to Sonic Adventure, where like. Sonic Adventure did a lot new, but I feel like some of the uh, like some of the stage and enemy design in that game still feels very in line with like original Sonic. Like specifically, Adventure One has a lot of like typical Sonic One through Three uh, badnik designs show up in some of the levels. But I haven't played through Sonic Adventure One in a while. Uh, I own two growing up, or two battle growing up, and not one. So. Plus, the PC port on Steam is apparently really bad. Like, they really I mean, fucked there's, up there's the lighting textures. That fix it. Yeah. I think people are too harsh on, like, Adventure and Adventure 2. I don't know. It's like, those, those are good games. If you're not trying to be a hater, those are good games. You mean to tell me this is the end of the hack? That can't be. Oh, so I gotta be right back. I gotta clean the table. Let's go.
Game. I'm getting fucked up. Okie dokie. Wanted to feel this is the first new, first real 3D Mario. That makes sense. Cause it's like. did this thing have? Wow. I don't know why this room lags, by the way. Top shelf quality. Are too much? Possibly. Yahoo! Yahoo! Woo! 
Every boo in this hat seems to be worth like five coins for some reason. This has got to be like maybe one of the easiest 100 coin stars I've seen so far in this hack. Go up here? Yeah. Poker table. This is the first star, I think. Which, obviously, I don't want to go back and get because I already got it. Do I like land in all the UFOs? It's so hard to use the wing cap. Well, I think the top shelf ball has got to be over there. Yeah. Oh, I love the fucking vanish cap. The answer to that is yes, but I can't tell. Besides, uh, get that UFO star and then try to find where the fuck the vanish cap is. How did I get up there to that UFO? Very cool level, but man, does it seem man, is it weird to navigate? Maybe the vanish cap is somewhere in the ice level. Yahoo! Yahoo! 
There's also the lava stage we did not do a lot of. Okay, I'm back again. Are you missing I might have to leave in a bit. Yeah, sorry. You have to what? I might have to leave in a bit because usually I go to sleep around 10 so I can get up early. Alright. Yield. Okay, so. My speculation is that the Vanish Cap has to be somewhere in this level. I don't really have any evidence. Well, it's not here. But there just has to be some kind of like secret path to it or something, you know? You feel me? Yeah, for real. Cause... Can't find it in the overworld. You missed me getting a star in the, uh... What do you even call it? It's like the, uh... Unfortunate, but... The, the poker area or whatever. If, if it's any consolation, at least we got to experience the Halo theme, the, z the desert together. It's true. That was... Monumental. It was a very good reveal. I think that, that one, like, distracted you to the point where you died. You mentioned it, and I went, oh my god, it is. Like, I thought to myself, there's no way. And then there was a way. Which... I can look this up, hold on. Nope. Can't find it. At least I thought I could. I thought I could like look it up. I guess this hack is too recent. That's interesting. Not, not a lot of uh, hacks that kind of, you know, don't have some sort of documentation like that, I guess. Because like I'm trying to think of where it would be. And I'm drawing a big ass blank. I'm just thinking like I'm thinking about the Pokemon thread we had. Me oh, and like yeah. five of my mutuals. I think it's very funny that that just kinda happened. Oh, uh, this one's Kirby. This one's just straight up Kirby. I wonder how many people, like, know that theme from Smash. Streets of Rage 2? <laughs> I mean, banger, but what? <laughs> Why is this here? You know the song, right? Yeah, ev everyone knows this song. I mean... I follow enough Speeds of Rage fans, there's you and there's Dino, that's all I need. He's like, I follow enough, you just listed two people. I'm, a I'm aware of Streets of Rage. <laughs> I'm aware of Streets of Rage. I mean, I'm pretty sure we played two together on Blunt, didn't we? I think we did. We yeah, did. over Fight Cade. It's a banger game, by the way. I love Streets I mean, we of Rage. Played, we played four a bunch too, that was good. Oh yeah, I can actually parsec that with you now properly because I have like much better internet. 
It doesn't it have uh, its own? It does, but it's pretty bad. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's unfair. It did not have the wind jammers too, luck. Yeah, not everyone's. Not always a priority for projects like that. Mr. Rage 4 was Unreal good though, I do agree. What the fuck are these platforms? I was really scared. Can I kill this guy? I love this game, like, really imagined a world where Mario could just jump up and beat that, that guy's ass. You know? It's really what it is. Yeah, I think you should be able to do that all the time. Isn't that what, like, everybody really asks? Oh man, now that I'm uh, getting pinged for it, how's uh, TMNT XJL rollback going? Uh, apparently it's that... pretty good. I, I haven't really yeah. looked into it. I'm working on getting it in FHDs, so look forward to that. Nice. Thought that's gonna be really fun. Yes. I'm updating the game again. Nice. I might spend tomorrow doing that. Because I didn't take that What sort of craziness do you have planned for that now? Cause... Uh... I mean, the, game's, the game feels pretty complete. I mean, for what it is. QOL, character buffs, all sorts of other stuff. Uh, I'm yeah. trying to remember... What exactly It's a game you kind of... You guys kind of put together as... I don't want to say, like, as a joke, because it's... It kind of was! It's, it's pretty well made, but it's also like, yeah, this isn't our... This isn't the project. You know? I'm not going back in there. You don't know I am, I am. I get to the end of that obstacle course, I gotta know. I have to know what the boss is. Well, it's... It's a pit. Mamma mia! I wonder if the other hint room has this in it, then. Mmm, makes you think. That could be where the vanished cat is. That is the mystery of this whole stream. I think even if... Be very... Be very good if that happened. You know, if we got the vanished... That, that, that doesn't look good. Oh. Uh, this is new. Oh. Cosmic Wiggler? Oh, that's one way to make this boss real. We did it! Now I have six I always find it funny. I always find it funny that you don't like destroy Wiggler. You just kind of make him small. Oh, I could actually end this hack. Well, if I can't find the Vanish Cat, we're just gonna go fuck up Bowser. That'd be an appropriate way to end this. Yeah, I think so. Ow. It's a very quaint hub world, I really do like it. Yeah. 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 Well, then I have no idea. I have no fucking idea where the Vanish Cap is. Unless this toad can tell me. No? No, he has nothing useful to tell me. Which, I guess, is not that unusual for toad. I wonder if there's anything else in this room that I didn't... I didn't comb out, you know? I guess we can go over here. Watch the last level's music. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. 
Look, Bowser's got airships. I bet you'd never expect that. Oh, wait, what? Wow. Crazy how that works. Oh, what? Mamma what is this? Mia. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try it one more time. Fast. Let me try it, let me try it. Oh. That's, that's crazy. Why? Oh my god, you have to land on them? Well, the, the problem is you're supposed to be fine on the water or whatever, but... I guess you're hitting the edge of the buttons? Oh no, okay. <laughs> oh my god. There are so many wrong answers. That's a, that's a good way to do it. Oh. Is there even anything at the end of this? This is yet. Yeah. Um, where do you want me to go? Over here? Kinda hype, but I don't know what it's from at all. Yeah, I'm annoyed because I feel like I should know, but I don't. Do you ever feel that way about something? Yeah. Like hear a song, you're like, hold on. It sounds like I should know. It. And then you're like, ah, I, I don't know it. I'm not even going to the red coins anymore. This is too fucking satanic. I wish these hacks came with like music lists. But it's like I recognize a lot of songs. And then like I don't, you know? What the fuck? This level seems like a, a problem. It's like those, uh, Mario Sunshine secret courses. Like, here's some geometry, it's gonna spin around. It'll probably fuck you up. On the bright side, I haven't fallen through any of it yet. Which definitely elevates it above Mario Sunshine in that regard. 
Are we done? Here we go. This has got to be Goemon, right? I'm getting the vibes from, but I'm not 100%. Don't know about that one. Anyway, I'll probably stick around for Bowser and then. Yeah, I, I mean, think this will be the end, end of the, the stream. Hat. Yeah, that'll be perfect. I mean, you're there. The only real sad news I have. Here we go again. The Vanish Cat mystery. Oh, oh, you forgot it's... again. Fuck you. Well, I mean, why would I think that? Oh, I was thinking just how generous the hitboxes are. Really good. We did it. Yeah, right before but we, 10 o'clock. you. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> GG. Oh, a little... A little congratulations level. Oh, it's this song. Can't wait to see Polar Bear in here. That'd be crazy. I I know this song, but I don't know what it's called. But I mean, everyone's heard this one. Mario Odyssey, I believe. Yeah. Hundred stars, yeah. Sixty out of a hundred. That's fair. That's over half. All Anyways, right. Thank you all. Uh, my good that was friend, a good hack. My good friend Jushichi is streaming Under Night in Birth. Nice. So we're going to go raid him. Whoops, that's not his name. There we are. Did I get it? Did I get it? I got it. All right. Well, that was great. I had a great <laughs> time. How about you, Mr. Well, Polar Bear? Thank you for joining me. That was good, yeah, I definitely had fun. Alright, take care everybody! Thanks.